It's about how to retain your front desk staff without going over budget. My name is Mark Benz and I own one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. I'm also the founder of the Virtual CEO program. I work with people like yourself, massage therapists, physiotherapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, all types. And I work with you to give the business that you've always wanted. So we create a bulletproof clinic for you. It's extremely financially successful and it gives you the lifestyle you've always wanted. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is find the right people for the position. Now as clinic owners, small and large, it depends on where you're at in your growth. But typically what happens is we find people and it's kind of hit and miss. And that's the challenge. So here, I'm gonna give you a really good tool. I've linked it below. It's called the DISC Profile, D-I-S-C. And that's an acronym. I won't get into it. Uh, try it on yourself. I use it with everybody in my clinic because I wanna understand their personality type. I wanna understand how I can support them. And I wanna understand, ultimately, are they in the right position? And that's what this will tell you. And so the key is when you get someone in the right position, and let's just think about some qualities for front desk, people who love to talk, people who love to engage, people who love to serve and help other people, all essentials. But you could easily get someone in there who has those qualities. They could do that. And so in my coaching, I talk about this. Is it natural or is it adaptive? You want to find people, it's natural. They love to talk, they love to engage, they love to help people. Anybody can talk, anybody can help, and anybody uh, can fit into that role. That's an adaptive thing. Now, I won't get into detail too much, but here's the problem. You'll realize that if you get someone in the job and they're adaptive, sooner or later they're not going to like it because it's not their nature. When you find someone where it's their nature, it feeds their identity, which means they actually don't need a lot of money or they don't need whatever else you're thinking they need because it fits who they are at their core. And so really, really important to figure that out at the beginning, the DISC profile is a, is a very, very good tool. Now, it's, there's a lot to the DISC profile, so take it. Um, you don't need to pay for the upgrade. Uh, I don't get paid anything. This is uh, through Tony Robbins, but there are a lot of other organizations that provide the DISC profile. Um, but take it, figure it out. If you got any questions, reach out to me. But I got to tell you, it was a complete game changer. It gets the right people in the right position. So step one, get the right people in the right position. Step two, you'll say, wow, I got this amazing person. Okay, maybe I'm not paying them as much as I could. Well, look at your budget. Right? Where are you spending your money? The best money spent, are, it's in human resources. If you, can, if you can look at that person and they're just blowing it up at the front desk, making patients uh, happy, making therapists happy, by dealing with the phone calls, it's unbelievable, then you got to invest in them. How do you do that? Here's a very, very easy thing to do, but it's hard. You know, people go, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. Okay. I assure you, you could probably raise your rates by $2 a treatment. I'm about 99.9% .9 positive that your business could afford a $2 raise per treatment. Well, imagine if you did 10 or 20 treatments um, in a day, which I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, that's $20 to $40 more. Imagine if you did that five days a week, that's $100 to $400. Imagine. Well, you don't have to imagine. Uh, we quite understand what a month means. Uh, so you can take that money and invest it into your staff when you found the right person. Now, if you're charging a percentage to your therapist, very easy to do because it's just a natural flow through. If you're dealing with flat rents with your therapist, you'll need to bump up incrementally their flat rent. A little bit more challenging. That's a whole other discussion for another day. <laughs> but I assure you, and we got into this trap about, oh God, I don't know how many years ago, where we weren't raising our rates. When we raised our rates, people actually loved it more. 
because they were seeing more value. They were attributing more value to everything we were doing. We were doing an amazing job to start with. We just didn't catch up with the rates. So now we charge a very good rate and then we're able to invest in our people. Okay, step three, and this is more of a short-term solution, but really, really, it's an easy one to implement. Go find someone who's invested in your industry. So we're in clinics, right? We're running clinics. So is there a student out there that's an acupuncture student, a chiro student, massage therapy student, physio student? Is there someone even thinking they might even go into these areas? If there are those people at the front desk, they'll do the job. If you can't afford to pay them more, because maybe you can't, I don't know, we'd have to look at your numbers, but they're more invested in doing the job for a lesser fee because they're getting so much more out of it. They're being introduced to the business. They're being introduced to how to develop patient relationships. They're being introduced into all these different therapies and which one they're gonna choose. And I've had, oh God, over the years, probably 10 of my front desk staff go into um, therapies, like, sorry, <laughs> become a therapist. Uh, so. It's excellent. It's such a great place to find people because you're just going to get a motivated, passionate person. Okay, guys, those are my three. Get out there. I know you can do it. Take action.